Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to another one of my Hans of Iron Fall challenges. Today we're going to play as the United Kingdom and we're going to puppet everyone in the world. I'm in mode historical focuses, regular difficulty. Yeah, I've been testing it out a bit. If you want to puppet everyone in the world, the UK is probably best suited to do that. We are not going to take a focus at first. Why? Well, because I do need to hire a fascist demagogue very quickly so that we can start working on getting some war goals. Or we could go communist, doesn't really make a difference. Let's get all our forces to Britain and let's make sure to use colonial manpower. We have British Raj and we have British Malaya. Uh, they both do have quite a bit of manpower that we can use. Let's make a British Raj infantry division. Let's uh, leave some normal infantry that is purely British and that one tank. And the rest is going to be switched into Indian units, into British Raj units. Let's also train some more of those guys and all the British Malayan troops. Combine all our navies into just one. We're going to need a Doctrine. Superior firepower is a very good one. And let's get some factories going. I'm going to focus on civilian factories this time around because we will be managing an empire of puppets. And we can use those to build stuff in their territory, reducing their autonomy and getting more factories for ourselves. Um, this is part of the reason why we're going fascist and not communist, uh, because fascists have an easier time exploiting their puppets factory. I also need to train up my troops. You guys will train up and that is about it. Let's pause. We lost our king and we have enough points to hire a fascist demagogue. Let's get the extra research slot now. Spanish Civil War. We will observe this closely. We might attack Spain soon, we might also not. We're going for the extra research slot first, then we should do this. Colonial Elite, because it also gives a great buff to research. And then this path is useful as well. The rest is not that great. We can hire a silent workhorse. I would actually prefer Nationalist Spain to win, because if we attack Republican Spain, uh, they will likely join Commandant, but it does look like Republican Spain is in a better situation right now. Let's open up a political discourse, and we will want to discredit the government soon. Um, theoretically, it has the best uh, effect if you're exactly at 40%, but if we do it quicker, we might get some nice fascist events faster. Although we do need 100 for that, don't we? Oh no, only 50. Yeah, let's do that as soon as we can then. Let's discredit the government. Now we have fascism at 32, so we can get fascist assault divisions quickly, for example. Although uh, the uh, support itself will, will grow uh, a bit slower. We have done taste research slot. We could go for BSA company, which would be quite beneficial, but I think we'll be better off if we instead reinforce the empire, do service overseas, and then encourage colonial elites. Research time minus 5%. That is pretty powerful. Let's save up some political power and hope for quick fascist assault divisions. I suppose I could go for free trade just for the extra factory output and research time. Ha! Ah, fascist assault divisions, finally. Let's rename this infantry division to just INF. And I'm going to be expanding it a bit. Because we will need a default division that will be copied by our subjects to come. So we can save some uh, army experience later on. Royal Ordnance Factory is done, let's do BSA, which will make infantry equipment much cheaper. And we can now hold the referendum and turn fascist, and let's do that. Boom, we're fascist, and we can do quite a lot of things. Uh, now, there are two very good openers for Britain. One of them is invading the United States, and the other is invading France. They're both valid strategies. I'm going to start with France. So we'll need to justify a war goal, but not just yet, Yeah, because of that event. If we get George, um, sorry, if we get rid of George and get Edward back, we will get justify war goal time minus 25%. That is definitely something we want. Yes, he will be an inexperienced imperialist. We will lose some political power on that. Oh well, so be it. But the war goal time is very useful. For example, Ile de France, 175 days. There we go. Let's start a naval invasion plan. Our fleet is kind of ready. Um, what we're gonna do now is also do some recon with it. We'll need... We'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight battleships detached. Each of them will be parked in a naval province like that, and it will give us vision of the enemy ports so we know where to redirect our naval invasion so that it will be easily successful. I'm not activating this order yet. We're going to be relocating this army to one of the other provinces. I still don't know which one will do that 
right before we attack. Let's hire an infantry expert. <laughs> we denounce French ideals. Let's add the last support company to our template. Uh, remember, this will be available to all the new puppets we're creating. This is why I'm focusing on doing it now. Our justification on France is ready. Now, where should we land? This has enemy troops. Oh, let's adjust the order a bit. We'll just land here and attack it um, from land. All right, activate order, declare war. And start justifying some new war goals. Uh, we're going to have to attack some other people around the area as well, but we do have the opportunity, so why not, right? Uh, let's do Belgium first, because now it only takes 10 days per country. Oh, volunteers from Germany and Italy, why not? All yeah, right, we've landed. And now some manual management will be necessary. We need to take this port and just go for Paris a little bit around. Okay, once we have taken this port, I will transport more troops and just give a normal attack order. And there we go. Now we can transport the rest of our troops into the area and give them the orders. And all should be well. Should we be aggressive? Yes, we should. Also now, my planes can actually focus on France instead of the channel, because the channel is ours, essentially. Okay, let's go. Our justification on Belgium is ready. Who should we take next? Netherlands normally would be a very good choice, although there can be a problem with the Dutch East Indies and British Malaya. But maybe if we don't call them into the war, it'll be fine. So let's do Netherlands next. War goals are valid for two months, so we don't need to hurry up too much. Justification is complete. I think we can safely ignore Luxembourg, but let's do nationalists Spain and Portugal. Maybe starting with Portugal, so that nationalist Spain focuses on beating up Republican Spain. Oh, and it, it did. You're next, nationalist Spain. Justification on Portugal is ready. Let's start Spain. Ah, crap. I wanted to start another one before this ended. Oh well. Now, um, I want to puppet as many people as possible, so I'm going to satellite some people from France. However, I'm not going to puppet France itself, at least not yet. Why? Well, because the Germans have a war goal that lets them attack France directly. And it's going to be easier for me in terms of flexibility to not give them the opportunity to do so. So in first turn, we satellite countries from France, and in the second turn, we just take everything from France. Next moves. Well, we do have a war goal in Belgium. No reason to not use that immediately. Can even use two armies to make it faster. In the meantime, I do need to transport some of my troops to Gibraltar. Actually, two. Yeah, you can go there as well. The war goals are valid for quite a long time, so we don't need to worry about that. Right, justification on Spain is complete. Okay, let's do United States next. 90 days. I think I can handle... Uh, Belgium, Netherlands, Spain and Portugal in 90 days. Okay, let's justify on the United States of America. We're ready to attack Belgium. They're not going to offer too much resistance. Now, they would make a nice puppet. However, I can't allow them to exist. I need to annex them because of Germany. Actually, I can attack immediately. Yay, tanks. Belgium. Satellites are here. And take all states. Okay, this quick tank is going to be quite helpful. Now, will the Dutch East Indies be a problem for me? Apparently, there is not going to be a peace deal until I can deal with them. Oh! Okay, um, actually, there is a peace deal with the Netherlands. That's very good news. Alright, let's pass a few times. Satellite Dutch East Indies. And take all states because I can't allow them to exist. Because Germany. I'll release them in the end. We do aim to have as many puppets as possible. Now they have arrived in Gibraltar, I can declare a war. Um, actually, two wars. Spain and Portugal. Because we don't want the war on Portugal to expire, of course. I need to also relocate the Air Force. Forgot about that. Um, it's looking alright. More than that, actually. Okay, okay. Going fine. And the one problem with not puppeting France, but rather annexing it, is that we did not inherit their fleet. Which can be slightly problematic, but we'll be fine. 
right? That deals with Portugal. And in the spirit of having as many puppets as possible, that's satellite Angola and Mozambique. And hmm, should I annex them temporarily? Yeah, let's annex the lands here for now. And then we can release them later. Okay, Spain is next. Hmm, I cannot satellite anyone because Republic satellite in Republic in Spain would cause trouble probably. Uh, so let's also take all of your states. Yeah, I'm gonna be releasing some more puppets later on. For now, we need the factory base. We need to transport our forces over here. Our justification is complete, but we still need to transport our troops there. I suppose I should be requesting some of our subjects' troops as well. Hmm, Czechoslovakia. I suppose it would be a good moment to beat up Germany, but we have bigger fish to fry. So the Czechs are on their own. Okay, a few more hours, and we have to attack. Otherwise, our war goal will expire. So let's attack. Declare war, and we need to call in Canada. But I suppose I can just call in everyone, right? Anyway, let's see how that works out. And yes, I suddenly have so many more troops because I have requested troops from our puppets. Yeah, they caught some of our troops on the way. Maybe should have retreated them from the sea when that started happening. Yeah, well, we're doing well against the US anyway. Sten gun researched. Let's make a lot of those. I now have the British East Indies that have tons of manpower, I should be using those. I'm also going to switch some of my regular units to that, the ones that are already on the front lines. They should get the manpower shortly. How about Ireland? Let's take Ireland. Just for our goal, only 10 days. We're denouncing Irish ideals, yeah, black beer, who thought of that? No, Guinness is delicious. Alright, we've cut the US in two. Justification on Ireland is done, let's attack. And start another one. Hmm, who should be next? Maybe Luxembourg. Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria. And the justification on Luxembourg is ready. Who should we do after Luxembourg? It would be nice to invade Denmark. But we would need to prepare a naval invasion first, and that does take a little bit of time. So we'll do that later. Also switch them over to the Indies template. Let's see how much manpower they have left. Still quite a bit. Ireland capitulated, good. You guys can go and take care of Luxembourg, and I'm going to justify on Switzerland. How are we doing against the United States? Well, we still have some time. It would be actually quite beneficial for us to invade Poland, because we could stop the Germans from growing in strength. Justification on Switzerland is done. Who should we strike at next? We could do some South American countries, but it doesn't really seem like the greatest idea ever. In order to properly do Denmark, we'll need our fleet here. In the meantime, we're in Luxembourg. Let's attack Luxembourg. That takes care of Luxembourg. Switzerland next. Now, they are quite well fortified, so this can be uh, a little bit more time-consuming. Ah, resistance to occupation, yes. Let's make sure to be gentle to everyone. Justification on Denmark is complete. Once we're done with Denmark, Norway should not be too much of a problem. We'll just do a quick naval invasion from here. So, you're next. Right, we're ready to attack Switzerland. You can invite to faction. I can invite Italy to my faction. That is wonderful news. Yes, I would like to do so, please. We have just deprived Germany of their powerful ally. Which is going to make conquering Germany that much easier. United States relatively close to capitulation. We'll go Norway expires in March. I need to bring my fleet back. Patrol these three. Mutinies in the army, that is very unfortunate. Unfortunately, I do have to take the most expensive option. I think we can safely attack Denmark now. Launch the naval invasions. Our guys have been intercepted. Where's the fleet? Had to change the orders because apparently... Ah, oh crap, the United States have capitulated. That's a bit too early. I still wanted to... I still wanted to justify some war goals. Well, I suppose I can still make use of that. Should we do Sweden or Poland? If we could do Poland, that would de deprive the Germans of quite a lot, but... We don't really need to. We're going to be so much stronger than them right now. The war is over. Unfortunately, Denmark is not included. Or will this be a separate war, or do I have to start all over? Hm. Anyway, I have to annex Luxembourg directly. Uh, I did say I wanted to take European stuff directly, didn't I? At least for now. At least for now. So let's take Ireland, Luxembourg and Switzerland. And the rest, well, we did also want to get as many puppets as we could. So let's satellite Philippines and puppet the United States. And end the turn. Now, United States also need to take all their land back. 
Okay, we now have a US puppet, a Philippines puppet, and we've taken European bits directly. Uh, this is temporary, I'm going to release them later because they'll be more useful as puppets, but for now I just want to maximize ec my economy. We are still at war with Denmark, good. And we've landed. Oh wait a minute, 10 days only? Are we at war with... is Denmark considered a major nation now? Oh, this is great for us. Okay then, let's justify some more war goals then. Justification for Sweden is done. Should we do Poland next? I probably should. How close is Germany to attacking? Quite far from it. It's naval battles that slow this game down so much. Okay, Denmark's taken care of. You know what, let's, um, let's just take Scandinavia and Poland and then deal with Germany and then we'll think about our next move. We can do a few things with Denmark. We can puppet them, we can annex them, we can satellite. Iceland, I would like to puppet them. However, I want to control the moment of the start of uh, our fight with Germany. So I'm going to need to annex Denmark. I can release them later though. Iceland was puppeted and Denmark was annexed. And you guys are going to invade Sweden. Let's attack Norway. I need these invasions to be quick because I need to schedule some invasions in Poland after all, after all that is done. Okay, let's declare war in Sweden. Seems like the Danish have destroyed some of my ships in transit. I thought that my bloody fleet would prevent that. Where the hell are you people? Did I tell them to not engage? Engage always. We lost a lot of troops because of this mistake. Did I already tell you that I hate naval management? Oh, those are Soviet volunteers. Interesting. Naval management is something I really, really despise. Anyway, we must declare war on Poland now, otherwise our work will expire, so let's do that. Can you successfully land? Hmm, it doesn't look like it. I don't understand why I'm not getting supplies here. We do have naval, naval supremacy in the area. Let's try and launch a few more naval invasions. Oh, they're likely to fail. Seems like I was too slow with the attack on Poland. That is very unfortunate and I'm kinda angry. Hey, maybe at least we'll get one province or something. And Germany attacks Poland and we failed in getting Poland before Germany. And hey, maybe we'll get one province. Probably not. Sweden is taken care of. I'm going to annex Sweden again temporarily until we deal with Germany. After we deal with Germany I'm going to be releasing quite a lot of countries. Why is that? Well, because Germany tends to attack people. Yes. Surprising, I know. Finland rejects Soviet demands. Good. Let's finally get war economy. And some extra manpower. Oh, Soviet Union attacked Poland too. Poor Poland. Okay, we can actually take some stuff. Well, I want Gdańsk, so that I can attack Germany from there. Yeah, you know what, Let, let's pop at them. We got a really bizarre <laughs> Poland around here. I want to give them back their territory. Norway's taken care of, let's take all states. Deploying some extra forces, requesting some extra forces, and preparing an attack. Since we are pretty much good to go for an attack on, uh, on Germany, let's wait until we see their next focus, and then release our puppets. Let's get as many puppets as we can. Switzerland, Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Portugal, and Ireland, Palestine, Jordan, Egypt, Botswana. They will all contribute to our strength. Kenya, sure, and Zimbabwe. Should I keep France? Maybe I should keep France and Spain. No, it was supposed to be a puppet master run, wasn't it? So, puppet, Spain, and puppet France. Released. All of them have their own focus trees. All of them will get extra factories from that. And overall, our strength will increase. Seems like by annexing all those countries, I have stopped the focuses. Let's see if they do the one against Switzerland. You know what, I'm very curious what their next focus will be. I'm just going to wait for that, and then we attack. Oh, they're just fighting against Poland again. I suppose that's good enough. I can wait for that. Let's get a logistics expert. China and Japan have signed a white peace. I think this is the first time I have ever seen this happen. Huh. Well, good job, China. I need to reduce the autonomy of my puppets, like France, then I will get a portion of their military factories. 13 more days. And they're doing war with the USSR. <laughs> Idiots. And we can lower the autonomy of France. Good. They're going to be providing some military factories to us now. They do have a war goal, but they're not attacking. Cowards. Ooh, the Soviet Union is justifying against me. Well, that is not good. I don't want to fight them at this particular moment. Yeah, I shouldn't have given Poland those territories. Oh, we are under attack from the Soviets. That is unfortunate. 
but not a huge problem. Although they did call in the Italians. Well, you're not the enemy I wanted to be fighting right now. You will stop a joint commandant. Interesting. Should I call everyone in? Sure, this is a weird turn of events. I was hoping to fight the Germans first. I don't really have access to the Soviet Union. I suppose I'll fight them at the same time. I need to attack Germany. It's gonna take 10 days only. Let's attack them. Let's finally be done with it and then we can move against the Soviets. Oh well. Oh, now they attack the Soviets. <laughs> Alright, everyone's gonna be fighting everyone. Alright, justification is done. Let's attack Germany. Call all allies. And yes, we are fighting uh, the Axis and the Comintern at the same time. Although at our level of power we don't really have to worry about any of that. Let's get Germany done. And then you can deal with the, uh, the Russians. This naval invasion seems to have been very unnecessary. Should have attacked them earlier. Ah, whatever. As you can see, this is all progressing very nicely. Fall of Berlin. Although the war with the Soviets is kind of bizarre. Shouldn't have taken these few provinces and my life would have been much easier. Uh, but we'll beat them. Is Hungary involved? It is. Our general has been wounded. See, it's all chaos here. I'm just gonna kill everyone who's not with us. Should we try a manual order for Vienna? Let's go to total mobilization. Extensive conscription. And do women in the workforce. I don't have enough war support. I need to do propaganda. Let's do some more war propaganda then. Yay, Vienna's ours. Almost. How long until they capitulate? And they have. Good. Does it mean we're ending the war now? Yes, it does. The Soviet Union is not in the peace conference for some reason. Well, that's good news. Right, we have Lithuania, expanded Poland, Czechoslovakia, Slovakia, Hungary, Austria and Germany. And they're all in this war with us. Am I still at war with Romania though? No, I'm still at war with Japan, Yugoslavia, Greece and Tuvan, Mongolia. I forgot to secure Scandinavia against the Soviets. That is a big mistake. Is Germany still ruled by Hitler only under our tutelage? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> uh, how's your manpower? Two million. Well, we're going to be using your troops. Although, I think your troops are the most effective if they're your troops. So I'll just be requesting them. All right, we're advancing. Good. Now, I just need to wait a bit. Yugoslavia capitulated. I still have Greece remaining in the area. Let's rush Athens. Yeah, the Soviets are tough, but we're tougher. Let's do women in the workforce, we finally can do that. Greece should be capitulating now. And so they have. Good. This is gonna take some time. We can reduce the Americans' independence. Good. And that's gonna give us some more factories, because we're going to be using their military ones. Fall of Leningrad, finally something good is happening. I'm using field marshal level orders now, because Romania is being annoying. They're pushing the borders, and I have to be readjusting my orders all the time. I could attack them now, but um, I, they seem to be the last remaining member of the Axis, I think. Yes, and they can become useful to me for quick war goal justifications later on, so I'd rather have them stay alive. Reduce German autonomy. The demise of the Soviet Union is pretty close. Hungary proclaims Greater Hungary. Greater than what? Than it used to be. Well, yes, they did get some territory. Ah, those Soviets never know when to give up. We're in a pretty good situation right now, actually, because we will stay at war with Japan, who is a major power, but Japan can't really do anything to us. They're too far away and, you know, too weak. So I can use that to just quickly justify war goals on everyone. Finally, we're that 99% was capitulation. Come on, give up already. Soviet Union has finally capitulated. Good. Okay, let's get as many puppets as we can, shall we? Greece. I wish to puppet Greece, Yugoslavia, Satellite Serbia, Bulgaria, Croatia, and Montenegro. And finally puppet them. Estonia and Latvia. Good. Armenia. Azerbaijan. That's too much. Finland? Okay, we can do Finland. That's it. First, let's give Poland some of its land back. Only the cores, though. Iron Wolf, Lithuania. You get that. Let's satellite Ukraine. Satellite Belarus. Azerbaijan. Georgia. All right, and Puppet. Who's got the core on Crimea according to the game? Only the Soviet Union. The last time I gave Crimea to the Soviet Union and some people were sad about that. So this time I'm gonna give it to Ukraine so some other people can be sad about that. Here you go, Ukraine, you can have Crimea. This time. Just for balance. Last time Russia got it. Right. 
Russian Empire, Ukraine, Belarus, and a lot of others. Now, we are still at war with Japan, which means any war justifications should be very, very quick. Let's have a quick look. Who is not ruled by us yet? Well, Italy is in our faction. We'll conquer them later on. Um, but now let's go against Turkey and the Middle East. Then we'll move through here. Then we could strike at South America, then deal with China and Japan. All right, let's do Turkey and Mexico. Ah, so many factories. One army group going against Turkey, another army group going against Mexico. They're all going to join the Japanese alliance, but that's fine. You guys are gonna invade Cuba. You guys are gonna invade, invade Haiti. Interesting. Canada owns the Panama Canal. Huh. You guys invade them. You'll go against Venezuela. You will go against Brazil. Or Iran, Iraq and so on. I'm going to be using the armies that I've sent to Turkey after they're done with Turkey. Go on Guatemala. All our troops assigned. Ready to conquer the rest of the world. Yeah, it's gonna take them some time to arrive at their destination. Uh, our justification on Turkey is done, but we're not yet ready to attack. Uh, but we'll start another one right now. This time it's Mexico. Justification on Mexico is ready. I suppose I could declare war. No, no, we can wait. Who's next? I suppose Guatemala. We just need to remember to declare those wars before war goals expire. The Japanese are taking some islands over here, but we don't really care. We'll just attack them from Russia later on. Oh, speaking of which, I should probably deal with this situation. Justification for Guatemala is ready. Let's attack. Let's call all allies. Now, this should not take too long. Justification for Panama is ready, and we can lower autonomy. Who's autonomy? Poland. Good. Let's do Cuba. Italy is doing a good job here. They are very useful as an ally. Of course, I'm going to defeat them later on, but uh, for now, they're doing a good job, really. Well, let's do Haiti next. I think we're ready to attack Mexico. Then I'll join the faction. I won't need to call anyone in. There was just an emergency in my home. Apparently, the mixer burned. Yes, the, the cooking kind of mixer. We need to choose the next target for our justification. How about Honduras? Remember to monitor uh, the war goals so none of them expire. Come on, Turkey. Give up already. Turkey has capitulated. Good. Who's next? Let's do Iraq next. And Yemen and Oman and Saudi Arabia. Oh, all the military factories. Honduras justification ready. Now let's do Iraq. Then Yemen, Oman and Saudi Arabia. The next war goal we have to use is Guatemala. I suppose I can attack. Now, no, no need to wait. It's convenient because now they automatically join uh, the war and I don't have to call everyone in. The uh, best gun research has been completed. We're ready to attack Panama. No reason to delay this. We're also ready to attack Cuba and Honduras. Let's attack them as well. Sorry, Haiti. I meant Haiti. We can invite someone to our faction. El Salvador, Peru, Venezuela and the Dominican Republic. Sorry. No. I'm not interested in more friends, unfortunately. I'm interested in more subjects. I think we're ready to attack Iraq. Panama capitulated. Oh, we've landed in Cuba. There you go, both ways. I don't have a port yet, but our troops are. Well, there's a lot of them. Guatemala capitulated. Peru, El Salvador and the Dominican Republic want to join our faction. Actually, Peru could be helpful, but um, then we would have to throw them out and attack them. Nah, let's just do it normally. Iraq capitulated. They should capitulate now as well. Yes, Haiti capitulated. Oh, they had quite a lot of weapons. That's useful. Now that Iraq is taken care of, well, we can take care of Iran. Although that's a bit bigger. Let's attack Honduras. Oh, Salvador has quite a lot of troops here. Although they're probably very small divisions. No, not necessarily. Huh. Interesting. I mean, we'll crush them anyway, but still. Interesting. Cuba capitulated. Let's attack. Justification on Dominican Republic is ready. Let's attack. And who goes next? I suppose San Salvador. Sorry, El Salvador. Honduras capitulates. Mexico is very resilient, but they should capitulate now. And so they have. That leaves me with a few more armies that have nothing to do. Yemen has capitulated, and a war goal on Salvador is ready. Let's do Nicaragua. Dominican Republic should be taken care of. Any minute now. Dominican Republic capitulates. Alright, let's attack El Salvador. Nicaragua. There you go. 
Nicaragua capitulates. Costa Rica is next. Salvador is still defending, I'm quite impressed. And a new justification is ready. Let's go. Costa Rica capitulates. Good, lots of guns. New justification is ready. Let's do Oman this time. And attack Colombia. Justification on Oman are ready. Let's do Venezuela. And of course, attack Oman. Salvador finally taken care of. Oman capitulates. I have more troops I can just, uh, you know, send here, but that doesn't seem like such a good idea. They'll just die of attrition. Okay, maybe one group. Justification for Venezuela ready. Attack and justify on hmm, Saudi Arabia. I almost forgot about Liberia. Let's send the troops there as well. Well, Japan did land here. They did take a bit of territory. I am dealing with that, but it's not a priority. Let the Siberian winters eat them. Let's attack the Saudis. And justify on Brazil. Venezuela is resisting. That's admirable. Justification on Brazil complete. Let's attack. And justify on Iran. Saudi Arabia capitulates. Good. Next stop, Iran. Colombia taken care of. Uh, right, we're going. Iran is ready. Let's attack. Who's next? Well, next we should attack Ecuador and Peru. Going well, although getting through Brazil is always difficult because of the terrain here. I could do naval invasions, but honestly I can't be bothered. We're gonna win anyway, and I do have other stuff to worry about. Ecuador, next we attack Peru. Oh yeah, and yeah, declare on Ecuador. Venezuela, taken care of. Ah, new justification is complete. Declare war. Mm, I suppose I can do Bolivia next. Iran has capitulated. Good, we can focus on Afghanistan more. Let's attack Bolivia and justify on hmm, Afghanistan. Attack Afghanistan and justify on Liberia this time. Taking Afghanistan quickly. Afghanistan capitulates. How are we doing in South America? Not so great. Not enough um, supply. I suppose I could just build infrastructure. We do have the capacity to do that. And a few naval bases. Justification for Liberia done. Let's attack. And justify on Nepal. Liberia capitulates. Yeah, the Germans are doing naval invasions all over. That's pretty cool, actually. Nepal. There we go. And Bhutan. Ecuador capitulates. Nepal capitulates. Attack Bhutan. Justify on Tibet. Declare on Tibet. Justify on hmm, something in South America. Let's see. Paraguay. Tibet capitulates. Justification on Paraguay complete. Uruguay next. Korea is neutral. Interesting. Attack Uruguay. Justify on Argentina. Actually, probably should have justified on Siam. Should probably deal with Romania soon. Hmm, are these Swedish invasions? Cool. Two more war goals ready. Justifying on Siam. I should probably attack Romania and I don't even need to send troops. My puppets should be able to handle that. There's still a lot of countries left. Why are you not doing anything? Oh, right, the wars have not been merged. I need to call everyone in separately. A few more war goals are ready. Tanu Tuva. Mongolia. And Romania. We'll need to do some separate calls for those guys. Romania will soon be ours. Uh, Tanu Tuva and Mongolia too. They were only left with the remainder of South America, which isn't going very well because I don't have any supplies in the area. Uh, but I'll get back to that later. And, well, the Chinese alliance. I'll also contact Korea in the meantime. Hungary wants Slovakia. Uh, no. Korea capitulates. We have defeated Mongolia and Tanu Tuva. Let's pop up them both. We're getting ready to attack China, but I first need uh, all those forces that are dealing with Romania. Speaking of which, let's finish dealing with Romania. Romania has capitulated. Let's have a peace conference and puppet them. Assigning tons of troops to deal with the Chinese alliance. Now let's let them get in position and we attack. Still dealing with South America. It is progressing very, very slowly. 
I mean, it is to be expected. I could micromanage it better. Uh, but eventually, we'll get through. Right, I think it's time to attack China. Let's justify and declare I've brought a lot of forces there. In the meantime, um, well, South America is still gonna take some time, but we are constantly progressing. Um, I think I was pushed back a little here, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. Uh, if it's not done by the time I'm done with China and Japan, then I'll just do some naval invasions and stuff. The justification is ready. Not all our guys are in position, but let's not wait any longer and declare war. I'm going to have to call all my guys in, which is going to take forever to process. Mm, looking not bad. We're at war with everyone in China. We are slowly getting into China. We've capitulated Xinjiang and we have almost capitulated uh, Yunnan. It is taking some time because the game is running so, so very slowly. Uh, however, in South America we are, yeah, we are doing a bit better than we were. Finally, Brazil has capitulated. Not much longer now. Only two South American countries left to go. And then China, and then Japan, and then Italy. Argentina has capitulated. And that should be it. Uruguay, yes. Anyway, South America is ours. Now we just need to land a naval invasion in Japan, finish off China, and betray Italy. Yunnan capitulates. Let's start planning our naval invasions of Japan. I've prepared some naval invasions with the highest level of transport ships we can do. Uh, six full armies simultaneously. And yeah, we're gonna invade Japan now. I should probably activate my naval invasion orders. Maybe one of them will be successful and will launch. Although most of them have not uh, reached their destinations yet, I think. Well, maybe not all of them have to reach the destination. It seems they're launching. Okay. Let's see if it works. Probably should have landed next to the port. I'll just do it again if it doesn't work. And we've landed in Japan. Cool. Let's quickly send way more armies here. I brought a few armies into the area and gave them garrison orders so they will be close by and ready to join the battle. Should easily be successful. China is of course taking forever, but it always takes forever. I suppose I should have attacked from Hong Kong as well. We'll launch some naval invasions on China once we're done here. It should speed things up a bit. Right, about half of Japan is already taken. But we do need almost everything. Finally, Japan has capitulated. Uh, this peace conference is going to take a while. Let's make sure to pop it, everyone. Yes, it's gonna take a moment to do that. And that's it. I mean, that's not it yet. We still have China to deal with. All right. Let's have a look at the factions map mode. We're only missing China and, well, Italy. Let's do a few naval invasions. Yeah, I shouldn't have left uh, these ports. Uh, without defenses. I thought this was going to be quick and easy. Oh, the Japanese are landing in China. Wonderful. Seems like we're doing much better now. Come on, come on. I want to finish this today. Finally. China. Finally capitulated. Alright. Pop it. Pop it. And all the others as well. Qing China, Meng Kuko, and Communist China can all be created out of that. Qing China is actually a cool idea. Well, Qing China is Manchukuo, I suppose, so... Yeah, and let's satellite Communist China. Let's not do China China, because Communist China uh, has better modifiers. You're right! The whole world is in the Allies. But there's still Italy. Italy is our friend. Not our subject, which is a bit of a problem. So we're gonna kick Italy out of our faction. And justify a warble on them. Sorry, Italy. You are a good friend, but now it's time to submit. All our troops are on their way to Italy for the final strike. Italy wants back into our faction. No, sorry. Once our troops are in position, you are done for. Just fine on Yugoslavia. Hm. Alright. Our troops are in position, mostly. Uh, let's see, when will we be ready to attack? Seven days. Okay, justification is done. Final strike of this campaign. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot to select Call All Allies. Well, let's do it through here. It's going to almost break the game. Hopefully almost. Yeah, I need to accept all of these. I left the computer for around 10 minutes while the game was processing uh, the call to arms. Okay, you attack them here, you attack them here. Well, let's see how well we can do against Italy. Pretty well, I'm assuming. I need naval invasions to launch. Alright, this is going quite quickly. As expected. Italy 
was, you know, they expanded all their forces helping us in our conquest. And then, well, you see what happened. Fall of Rome. And that is it. Okay, first, let's satellite Albania, Ethiopia and the Kingdom of Libya. And then, pop up the rest. And that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, though mostly gentlemen, here we are. The whole world is our puppets. All the countries in the world are in our faction. All the countries in the world are ours. How many puppets do we have? Well, all of them. Can we release anyone else? We can release China. China. From Hong Kong, I suppose. Um, yeah, okay, one more. If that crashes the game. No, it didn't. Alright. There we go. We have all the puppets. True puppet mastery has been achieved. Now, this is not the most efficient way to play the game. It's good to have a few good puppets and the rest just, you know, taken directly. Uh, usually, but, you know, not always. This is something I wanted to try for a while. One empire. Unite the entire world under the British Empire. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Although it did take a very, very long time to make. I have to make shorter challenges because playing in late game just slows the game down so very, very much. Anyway, as I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it and most importantly, what my next challenge should be. Also, you'll find a link to a playlist with all my challenges in the description below. That is it for today. I will see you soon. Goodbye.